coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. A warning from doctors about a drug some people are using to treat COVID-19. Ivermectin is a parasitic drug. There are versions for humans and animals. In humans, it can be used to treat parasitic worms like lice. In animals, the drug can be used to treat heartworm diseases. Some online groups believe ivermectin can be used to treat COVID-19. This has led some to believe that the animal version can be used in humans. Not only is this causing a shortage for animals that need it, the results in humans vary. As always, you should talk with your doctor before trying any new medications or treatments. Here's a way to enjoy the spookiest time of the year while staying safe from COVID-19. A drive through scare is being put on by DJ Danny Wayne and Associates in Terre Haute. This is video from this past weekend. Just pull through the west door at the first building at the Wabash Valley Fairgrounds and prepare for a scare. Proceeds will benefit FSA Counseling Center and the Fairgrounds. For dates of when you can catch this drive through scare, go to WTHITV.com. The Vigo County Courthouse is raising awareness about Breast Cancer Month. A banner with the breast cancer awareness symbol is hanging over the side. According to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, last year, more than 2.3 million women were diagnosed with breast cancer worldwide and 685,000 died. Now, here's a look at some of the morning's top national stories from CBS. One of the largest oil spills in recent Southern California history closed off miles of popular beaches over the weekend. A leaking pipeline is believed to be the source of the massive spill. It sent more than 100,000 gallons of oil into the Pacific Ocean. Birds washed ashore in some areas as a slick stretch from Huntington Beach to Newport Beach. As of today, New York City public school employees are required to have received at least their first COVID-19 vaccine. The new mandate goes into effect as children nationwide are facing higher COVID infections and hospitalizations rates and the 49th annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta is beautifying the skies over New Mexico once again. The event was canceled last year because of the pandemic. Those are some of the day's top stories. I'm Monica Ricks, CBS News, New York. We have important information for people in Brazil and Sullivan, Indiana. Starting today, the Indiana Bureau of Motor Vehicles branch in Brazil will be closed through October 30th. Sullivan's branch will only be open on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is due to staffing issues. The employees impacted by this temporary closure will be reassigned to other branches. Students and families can now fill out the free application for federal student aid, also known as FAFSA. This is for the 2022-2023 school year. To file, visit FAFSA.gov and create a federal student aid ID. You will need several forms of identification, tax returns, and bank statements. Application should be done by April 15th. Hey, good morning. We're in the upper 70s throughout the rest of the afternoon. Temperatures are going to be in a comfortable spot for this part of the year. Patchy fog will be possible here for a little bit longer, but it will clear out and we are going to see a chance for very scattered light rain showers. So just keep the rain gear handy today. You are going to be very spotty with the rain, but it is still a possibility even through the night tonight. We're in the lower 60s. Cloudy conditions will continue tonight and then tomorrow we're in the lower 80s. A little bit warmer. We're going to see more sunlight tomorrow. We could even see some sunlight today as clouds try to break apart a little bit, especially in the middle part of the day. A more isolated rain uh, tomorrow, but we are going to see a more substantial chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday. So if you're looking to get outside uh, Monday, Tuesday, today, tomorrow, we are going to have that small chance of rain, but it's going to be very hit or miss. So you may be able to dodge it if you have to do anything outside today. But Wednesday, Thursday, the chance of rain is more substantial, maybe harder to work around. Now Friday, upper 70s, maybe a chance of rain early, but we're going to dry up. Saturday, Sunday, mostly sunny. We're in the lower 80s both days with a chance of rain on Sunday.